In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a dominant defensive scheme. A couple of things that you need to consider whenever you're building a defensive scheme, kind of the foundation, and then how to kind of go about actually doing this and putting this into practice. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies coming out right here on the channel. Like I said, we upload videos every day that are designed to help you get better on both sides of the ball. And so this is the defensive um, segment of today's videos. And what I want to talk to you specifically about is a foundation. How do you go about building a starting point for a defense? And so uh, one of the ways that you need to do this is you need to think about a couple of things. You need to be able to have uh, about five things to be effective on defense. You need to be able to play um, solid match coverage. In my opinion, and especially in this year's game, you need to have the ability to be able to play match coverage. It's very, very critical for your success. If you can learn how to play match coverage well, this is something that's going to help you. So you need to be able to play match coverage. The second thing that you need is you need the ability to stop the run. You need the ability to be able to deter your opponent from running the ball. That is one of the key elements um, for this. And so this is why the Dime 146 doesn't really get a massive push as like the best defense in the game. It's probably the best pass defense in the entire game, except for the fact that you can only play a couple of different types of match coverage. You don't have the full repertoire of that. Um, and also you can't really stop the run if they have a two running back set. And so this is why you want to move into the nickel packages. Now, a third thing for consideration as far as why we would, um, why we would want to be in a certain defense is especially in this year's game, how do you get the best personnel on the field? Um, one, that's a huge thing. The reason why is because what we know about Madden 21 is we know that linebackers, whenever you play a linebacker on the field, it is unlikely that he is going to jump routes. It'd be better to have a safety or a corner there that has better speed, better athleticism. Um, typically, this is just general rule, but as a rule of thumb, linebackers don't really jump as well as safeties do whenever you're trying to defend the pass. And so if you want your players to get you more interceptions, you want to make sure that you have the most amount of safeties and corners on the field. So this brings us to the nickel 335. Um, the nickel 335 is able to have the, that kind of personnel, but the problem with the nickel 335 is it doesn't allow us to play quarters coverage. But the beauty of the audibling system, especially in Madden 21, is we can audible from 335 to 335 wide to, to nickel normal. And the beauty of this is the nickel normal defense allows us to play every kind of match coverage that we want. So we can play, um, we can play cover six, we could play um, cover three buzz uh, match. We could play cover four palms. We could play cover four quarters. We have the ability to do everything that we need to do from the nickel normal, which is one of the reasons why I would suggest to you that the 46 playbook is the best defensive playbook in the game. And if you want to get my complete defensive guide, it's going to be in the description that literally walks you through all of this stuff and how to go about putting it all together. And you can get that for just 15 bucks. So what we've talked about so far is we need the ability to stop the run. We need the ability to get the best type of personnel possible on the field. We'd like the ability, uh, or we need the ability to be able to play a plethora of styles of match coverage. At least that's my opinion, very important. And then the, the third and fifth, or the, the fourth thing is we need the ability, um, we need the ability to blitz the quarterback very effectively. Okay, we, we need the ability to put pressure on the quarterback. That is critical. Okay, no matter what level of, of, of system that you play, we, we need the ability to put pressure on the quarterback. And then the fifth thing that we need as a defense um, is, is kind of twofold. I was going to tell you that, um, you know, if you're defending inside the five or inside the 10, we need something that can be very effective in the red zone. We need, we need to have something that we can go to that we can lock down in the red zone, okay? Now, most of you would tell me that you use, you know, the goal line defense for the goal line, but what, in your normal situation, 
That's where I really like this nickel normal, as well as the 3-3-5 wide. We have the ability to stop the run. We have the ability to stop the goal line. The other last little caveat that I was going to say is we also want to make sure that we are able to make the defense look pretty much the same all the time. Okay, so we when we audible from 3-3-5 into 3-3-5 wide, we can make that defense look pretty much identical. And so that's kind of why I would tell you that the 3-3-5 wide is the best defense in the game. It's, 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 it's available to you um, out of the 46 playbook. It's able to be audible into so that you can get the best personnel possible. And it has every coverage you need. It has cover three match. As you can see here, the, the, the three Sam Will Blitz is a cover three match style defense. The Mike Blitz three is a cover, cover three match style of defense. It also has another kind of cover three with its cover three buds, which is a little bit different in terms of how it's going to play. Um, it also has the cover four show two. That cover four show two is not cover four drop. It's cover four quarters. And so you're able to play a quarter style of coverage, has main coverage, and it has very good blitzes. As you can see here, Mike Blitzell. And so, you know, this is kind of going to check all of the boxes for us. Um, and so that's where we kind of come to our coaching adjustment section. Um, and again, this is the foundation of a good and successful defense. What coaching adjustments do you go with to start a game? Okay. Defense is all about, in my personal opinion, the, you have to define your goal. As a defense, what you really want to do is you want to be able to take away what they do best. So you want to force them to have to play left-handed. You want to be able to um, force them to take field goals instead of have touchdowns. Okay? And you want to be able to make, again, make everything look identical. That's where coaching adjustments really help us. So my favorite coaching adjustment in the entire game is the zone drops. And so what I like to do is when I'm not playing match coverage, then I like to play zone drop coverage. And the way that I personally like to play it, and I think this is the safest way to play it in, um, again, more about that field goal than touchdown. Like they're going to probably move the ball. But when we get into the red zone, we again, that's one of our key components. We want to have good red zone defense. And so our flats are going to be on 30 yards. Our curl flats are going to be on 10 yards, and our hook curls are going to be on 5. And this is kind of what you see. And so this is um, a little bit deeper of a Mabel than normal. This is going to help you stop crossing routes and corner routes and all of those kind of things. And so then when we come into the actual defense, one of the things that we know, um, one of the things that we know actually very, very really common is that cover three this year is kind of very, um, it just kind of gets bombed a lot. <laughs> like there's just a lot of things that your opponent can do that is going to make running a consistent cover three defense very challenging. There's a lot of options. And so there's some adjustments that you want to have whenever you want to run cover three. I'm not saying that cover three is not effective. I'm just saying that um, if, you're, if you're smart and strategic, you would run cover three this way. And so here's how we're going to run it. So we're going to go to Mike Blitz three. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're always going to shift our defensive line one side. It might be the left, it might be the right. We're going to shift them one direction, okay? And for every formation that might be different, we share how to do this in the guide, um, in the defensive guide. We're always going to crash our line up because this is our primary run defense. And then from there, we're going to make adjustments to our coverage. So we could send five if we wanted, or we can drop different types of zones across the board. Um, another thing that we can do is we can play what I like to call a cover um, – what I like to call a cover six, uh, invert kind of almost, is really what I like to start with um, if I can. If I can't start with that, then I'll just deep half on both sides. But basically what this is going to look like is I'm going to put L1 into an inside quarter. I'm going to put circle corner here into an outside quarter. And then the square corner, I'm going to put him into a deep half zone. And so this is going to change how this is going to work. And then essentially, we're just going to play Mabel coverage with a three rack. This right here is a very good zone coverage. Um, the biggest thing that you've got to worry about is really the streak on the square. But if you take a look here, I mean, you do a really good job. And your primary responsibility is to use her over the middle of the field. And so this is kind of the starting point, the foundational um, play. And when you have a foundational play, there's certain things that are going to get open in this play. Um, for example, if we take a look at this a little bit closer, what we're going to see is when somebody goes to a defense like what I just went to, um, there's going to be certain things that are going to be open. For example, um, if they have a very good, um, you know, maybe they have a good fade route right on the left side, that might be something that's very easy to get open. 
Um, another thing might be on the right side here, you know, potentially like a curl flap concept uh, would get open. If I had like maybe something like the R1 on a curl, um, you know, did something like this, then, you know, I might have a decent shot at getting this guy open. Or as you can see here, I mean, just the quick flats are going to be open. So there's things that are going to be open. The biggest thing about defense is understanding your weaknesses, where are you weak, understanding that, okay, I can't take away everything, so I want to take away the main things. I want to take away the big things. I want to force them to play left-handed, okay, so that I can force them to walk up and down the field um, limping. I want them to walk with a limp. I want them to, I want them to kind of have to struggle to get upfield. It, it doesn't mean you're going to stop them all the time. It just simply means that you are going to stop the main thing that they do. And if you can stop the main thing that people do, you at least force them to have to think. You force them to have to think. You force them to have to walk with a limp. You force them to have to play left-handed. And if you can do that, then what's going to be able to happen is when you start to apply pressure and it looks exactly the same as your coverage defense, then what's exactly going to happen here is it's going to look exactly the same as your coverage defense. They're going to think they have all the time in the world, but in fact, the pressure is going to come in quick and easy and simple. That is why. That is why. It is super, super important to be able to make everything look the same, to be able to play good, solid match coverage, to be able to stop the run, to have a red zone defense that you can go to, and to keep the defense or the offense in front of you and force them to take field goals as opposed to touchdowns. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn my complete defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link for you in the description. You can get that defensive guide for just 15 bucks. It literally walks you through everything that I talked about today in excruciating detail and teaches you how to run the best defense in 921. Thanks for watching this video. And like I said, if you want to get that guide, it is available in the description.